If all else fails, go back to the basics, which is come back to me. Let me let me get you right. Lonzo was back on the West Coast, back with his family, and specifically back with LeVar. We already know this is his offseason to get healthy and rehab his injury. Now, the Chicago Bulls have had many press releases about Lonzo's injury, and quite frankly, they seem stumped. Lonzo's a big piece. You're trying to get him back as fast as possible. And, and that right. type of injury is not some stuff you rush. You got to understand what you're doing. I've been a trainer for years. They, they, they training him the wrong way. And they rubbing his leg and they rubbing his leg and they telling me he's stiff. And what they're doing is they fracturing another part of his knee. Rubbing him out. It's too, it's too fast and too hard. When they did the, the meniscus tear a long time ago, they just try to let it heal. They should have cut that out the first time. But you know what? He should be ready for the season this year. Because he's going to stay out here and get it done the right way. Sometimes you have to get your own guy to say, OK, this is how we got to do this. Now, LeVar doesn't have to step in and personally do all of Lonzo's training. But where the Bulls have failed and produced no results and maybe a sense of hopelessness, LeVar can come in there, give hope, give new advice to new medical teams, give them second options. Let's not forget he's dealt with Lonzo's injuries his entire life. It'll also help Lonzo to constantly hear this. Man, I don't care what they say about all those other guys. My guy is the one that makes them go. As long as you're going to let him do it his way, you're going to be fine. You're going to win a lot of games. People keep looking at my boy and saying, oh, he need to score more. He need to do this. I'm like, you guys don't get what his talent is. His talent is making everybody around him better. He knows when to make Lamar get the ball, when the... Uh, I mean, DeMar, when Zach needed, he had him in number one before he got hurt. Now, a lot of people love when they hear LeVar say things like this about Lonzo. He's the engine. He's the captain. He'll find the open guys. But there's many people that say that's not enough. We're glad he improved his shot. We're glad he improved his defense. But the guy's got to finish around the rim. The guy's got to play with more aggressiveness. Well, that leads me to the main point of this video why it's so good for Lonzo Ball to be near his father in the offseason. While LeVar has the most confidence in his sons, and you see that in interviews, he's also the hardest on them. I'm going to take you back to when Lonzo first got into the NBA and he had a very bad game. And in front of the reporters, he said, oh, Lonzo, Lonzo, this, that. He smiled. But on the personal call on the way home to Lonzo Ball, he dug into him and let him know what he should be doing. You as a basket, you can't throw it out for no three-pointer. You can't throw that out like that, son. You can't. Not not on this level. You got to go with the high percentage shot. All right. Tomorrow, you know, you can't have that show, right? Yeah. Yeah. Go do your thing, man. Have some fun out there and shoot that ball. But you can get around, guys. When you get around, them, score the ball. All right. And some of you guys were saying, Lonzo, be your own man. Don't listen to your father's advice. Get away from him. This is why it's really great for Lonzo to be around his dad and to hear what he has to say. LeVar keeps it real and tells him what he needs to know. LeVar told him, do not pass up on open layups. On this level, you need to go ahead and go in there and finish it. You can get by these guys super easy. And that still doesn't take away him being the engine, the playmaker who can find the open man. And you can tell Lonzo listened because afterwards, this is what he said. I think you being cool, but I just want to see what you think. The defense is a little different. Oh, I that. The game is the same. When I come up for screens, I got to slow down a little bit. Just drive. If you was at the rim, you could have finished that. I saw. Yeah, I got dumped there. When I seen Lonzo on the sideline watching Leangelo play and LeVar coaching in the Drew League, I said, oh, this is so great that he's back around his pops. Don't get me wrong, they talk on the phone a lot, but being up close and personal, sometimes that hits different. The next game, Lonzo had a triple-double. He was slam dunking crazy. Um, you know, unfortunately, they lost, but this is what LeVar said after. Down for a second, let me tell you this. This is what you have to do, though. When it's seven or 10 seconds left, you gotta make a bucket. Can't throw it out. That crowd is not there to see you throw it out. It's just key moments, it's closing out quarters. You got to take a shot because everybody's standing up to see what you're going to do. They're going like this. Oh! To say, ah, and, they, and when you throw it out, you're giving the, the light to somebody else. So not only knowledge to help Lonzo with his injury progression, but we're talking about the mindset of aggression, the mindset of being the floor general, all the things that everybody wants. Some people say they want him to pass more, find the open man. Look, LeVar's telling him that. Some people say they want him to be more aggressive and score when he needs to. LeVar's telling him that as well. It's only a win-win for Lonzo to be in the offseason around his pops. Now, a lot of you guys knew that. You know, you, you rocking with the facts, but some of you guys just don't realize. 
especially the media, they say stuff like this. The Lakers are soft and they don't know how to coach my son. He goes, I know how to coach my son. Guess what? He does. And it's not about him being an NBA coach. It's about these NBA coaches that are utilizing Lonzo wrong at times. Just take a little advice from the guy who's been training and coaching him most of his life. So Lonzo's out there on the West Coast with his family, with a medical team that is tending to his knee properly. And guess what, guys? They have all confidence in what they're doing, their schedule, everything. So I'm looking forward to see the new update that the Bulls come out with when Lonzo does his follow up uh, physical. But I'm going to tell you right now, when Lonzo comes back, guys, expect him to be better in every way, better healthy wise, physically, mentally. He's going to come back a beast, I just believe, because every time he's around his family, they sharpen each other like iron sharpening iron. But let me know how you feel about the advice that LeVar gives Lonzo behind the scenes and Lonzo in general being out there in the offseason. Don't ever be caught like this. Like this with your head down. They're like trying to catch that photo. He seem like you're hard on them? And the way I am on my boys now is going to get them to a higher level. And that's why my criticism is a lot better than everybody else's. Guys, go to my Instagram at ball.facts because I got facts up there I don't even put on this YouTube channel. I told y'all on my newest music video, we came a long way. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Ball facts again. Peace. For more videos, click here.